The very first thing we want to do is get us a whole fryer chicken down in a pot of cold water with a couple of stalks of celery. You'll see I've already put that in there. And we're going to put us a teaspoon of salt to begin with. We'll taste as we go. We're also going to put us some black pepper in here. And you don't have to use fresh. You can use the, the already ground kind. But we're going to boil our chicken for about an hour to an hour and a half till he's fallen off the bone. We're going to start with a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. One. And one half cups of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one, two. Give this a whisk to get that baking powder and salt in that all purpose flour well. Now we're going to do one half cup of chicken stock. Yum. If you don't have chicken stock, you can use milk. And two tablespoons of, I'm using coconut oil. You can use vegetable oil or corn oil. And bring it together a bit. Don't be shy or afraid. It's going to come together for you. Especially if you didn't pack down your flour and you measured it loosely. Loosely. This is when you get your fingers in there. It's just easier. Just your fingers. You don't have to put your whole hands and get your rings in it. There you go. Bring it together just like that. Now we're in our work surface, our clean, clean, vinegar clean work surface. I know y'all see I'm flowering my rolling pin as well. And then you just start rolling out these dumplings. And you can flip them however you want. And y'all, this pizza cutter just does it so quickly. You just roll away back and forth. Um, inch and a half, two inches thick, whatever you want. And I'll usually cut them in half about one time. And then now what I'll do, I'll take my cookie sheet that I've had, keep scooting around up here with y'all, and I'm going to put a layer of flour so they won't stick. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm just going to lay these up here on this flour. We are, we have got to debone this chicken. And I'll just start breaking them, okay? Just like that. Our little dumplings. Our little dumplings. And break them and 
dump them in a little place that you've not already put a dumpling. You know, just look for a spot for it to go in. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I <laughs> know. Just don't pile them up on top of one another. And we're going to put several in. As long as it continues to roll and boil. Put several, so now we're going to stir a little bit. Just push everybody down kind of into the broth. chicken back in here. Add some milk. Yes, I'm going to give it a nice pour. Yum! I guess that was about a cup of milk. And, yes, we're putting butter. Many of y'all have told me that y'all made this recipe and that your family loves, loves, loves it and they request it now and I just love that. You can put as much butter or as little butter as you want, okay? But that just, this is like a little finisher, you know, and that butter makes it silky smooth. Oh, it makes it so good. And then I always put a little more black pepper. That's it, guys. We have got dumplings. Yummy, delicious dumplings. Yum. And what I do now is I will cover them. And I will keep them on so low. Y'all see how these dumplings have swelled sitting here in this pot on low, low, low. Mmm. I wish I could give y'all a big old bowl of these. I do. 